Good afternoon. Just out walking on the Peabody Trail. I'll get a little, get a few miles in. I need to get out and start training. Uh, so I spent most of the day working on my YouTube channel and my gear list. So in my introductory video, um, I kind of just talked a little bit about my decision to hike Pacific Crest Trail, but I didn't really talk about what that entails. Uh, and I've had a lot of questions <clears throat> and confusion about exactly what that is. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about that. And um, so anyway, I want, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for their support. Um, I'm really amazed at how many people have watched my introduction video already and um, have given me, I don't know, just a lot of inspiration and support uh, for my decision to hike the PCT this year. And uh, I really appreciate it. It really um, helps motivate me to be successful at this. So anyway, I've uh, spent a good portion of the day going through uh, making a Word document with all my links on it to all the gear that I need, you know, and I've kind of realized after adding everything up that, you know, the gear is going to be pretty expensive, and I'm basically using my retirement account to fund this trip, which I won't have access to until I, um, after I've left my job and apply for that, so... I'm not concerned that I won't have it before I leave for my trip, but right now I need to focus on getting the gear I need to do this trip and to um, test everything out to make sure that the gear I have is warm enough for the conditions I'm going to be in or to protect me from the sun and the desert uh, and to make sure that my, you know, three big items, my backpack, my tent, and uh, my sleep system, you know, sleep and bag and pad is going to work well for me since I'm going to be sleeping with it for six months. So, even though I've had, um, I have gear for backpacking already, you know, when I got set up this last year, I was just trying to get the best gear I could that was somewhat light, but, you know, not the best quality gear. Um... So I was able to do that for under $500, you know, but as I'm looking at that gear, most of it's not going to be appropriate for what I need for a through hike. It's just uh, either the quality or the weight of it um, or the warmth isn't really appropriate for, you know, three season hiking. So uh, the, uh, totaling up everything I need for this trip, this one under a tree, uh, is about, I don't know, between $3,000 and $3,500, which is a little overwhelming. It's a lot of money. Um, so I've had some people that have, you know, asked me how they can help and want to support me, and so I was thinking of, you know, maybe that's one way that, that my, uh, that people are, that are wanting to follow me and support my trip uh, can help by maybe just purchasing even one small item of gear. So anyway, I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, you know, I don't expect anybody to buy my Z-Pax Duplex 10 or my uh, Ultralight Backpack. I'm going to go with the UL circuit, you know, or anything like that. But, you know, there's a bunch of little items, like a water water filter, uh, poop trowel, uh, water containers, you know, sun gloves, umbrella, things like that, rain gear. Um, it all adds up. So anyway, if you're interested and are willing... Uh, to do that, 
I put some links in the description of this video for most of them are through Amazon um, I have an associate account through them on my YouTube page which means kind of get it uh, it's like getting everything at a discount because if you buy it through that link they give me a percentage of the sale back that I can turn around and buy another item of gear with which is what I'd use it for so anyway there's that I also put links to um, Z packs uh, UL ULA for my backpack and enlightened equipment for the sleeping bag I want uh, so and also um, I've had a few people asking about my itinerary so I have also attached my Craig's PCT planner uh, I put a link to it and just you know it's just a rough estimate I mean it lets you break it down into what towns you're going to stop in, what mileage you're going to do every day, yeah, based on how many hours you're going to hike and your pace, and that kind of thing. If you open up the document and you can see, it goes through each town that I selected along the way, and I put a lot of towns in there. I won't necessarily stop at every one of them, um, and I may not be stopping at the exact date that it says I plan to it really you know I put an average of 15 miles a day but I will likely start out a little slower than that and be able to do more miles as I go along so anyway but I put in the notes sections uh, for about the first probably 700 800 miles I think I did it as far up until Kennedy Meadows which is the beginning of the Sierras and uh, so I put all the links addresses into the post offices uh, for resupply boxes um, if people want to send send a resupply box or for the ones that I've set out that I know that I'm gonna want to send one to uh, so I didn't do it through uh, Northern California well, maybe I think I did some of it, but most of Northern California, Oregon, and Washington, I haven't put a lot of information in yet. Uh, just mainly trying to focus on the first 700, 800 miles, and then I can go from there, you know, once I kind of get, find out what my speed is and get more information, I can plan the rest of it as I go along. But anyway, if you're interested and want to kind of see how that works uh, you can check it out like I said it's in the description of this video if you scroll scroll down below the video um, and there's a description of the video and usually you have to see more and there will be my gear list and and my uh, Craig's PCT planner and just so you know there is probably some items you're not going to see on that uh, list for gear and it's probably because I already have those items like most of my clothing I already have and I uh, just purchased a Ghost Whisper Puffy last week uh, I love it already um, and I mean I have a few things but there's a whole list of stuff that I don't have yet <clears throat> so anyway um, a little bit more information on the PCT uh, Pacific Crest Trail runs from Mexico to Canada and you can either do the trail uh, as a through hike either northbound which is what I'm doing which starts at the Mexican border and goes the Canadian border or you could do southbound and start in Canada, Canada border and go the other way uh, it starts in Campo California and it ends at the northern terminus is uh, real close to Manning Park in uh, Canada so 
my plan is I'm probably not going to go into Canada. Um, I'm not going to apply for that permit to cross the border. Um, I am going to, if I make it that far, which I plan to, when I get to the northern terminus, I will hike back to Hearts Pass and have my family pick me up there, which is an extra 30 miles. But what the hell? After 2,650 miles, 30 miles doesn't seem that bad. Uh, so anyway. Uh, whew. I'm winded already. This is why I'm out here. Another thing I, I've done, and I'm brand new to it, but uh, <coughs> I set up what's called a Patreon account. I've seen other people doing this, and, you know, I don't know if it's going to be useful for me or people are even going to be interested, but I thought, what the hell, I might as well try it, you know? Maybe I'll get to a point where I can just hike until I retire. I mean, how awesome would that be? Maybe come back and not uh, have to go back to work. I can just go do a triple crown. By that time I'll be old enough to get my retirement if there is any left. Okay, I'm on lap two. Um, I just did a mile. I'm really out of shape. I know I did four miles last weekend and I wasn't winded at all. But anyway, I'm getting over a cold. I've been coughing a lot, so that's probably part of it. Anyway, I'm around two. And uh, so, anyway, back to the Patreon account. Um, so. It's a program that you can go to. There's a link on my YouTube account. If you go up to the right-hand corner, top of the page, there's a little orange circle. If you click on that, that'll take you to my Patreon page. And uh, it's like kind of sponsoring somebody like you would. Um, I don't know. I, I think of it as like kids that are going to run for some kind of cause for their school or something and they'll ask you to sponsor them so much money based on how many miles they do kind of a thing it's kind of what it reminds me of and uh so this is set up where you can it's like an agreement to pay the uh to sponsor a certain amount of money each month uh to help support my hiking so i don't know and i set up three tiers in there um to make, you know, any amount helps, uh, $5, $10 a month, you know, whatever you can afford or want to donate, and it's just another way to help uh, defer some of the costs of doing this. They say it costs about an average of $1,000 a month to do a through hike, so, you know, if you're gone six months, that's six grand, and uh, it's not cheap. You know, I also have some, some bills I'll still have to pay, you know, back home on top of that. And I uh, won't have my work income, so any little bit helps. But anyway, if you're interested, uh, please go to my Patreon page. Anyway, lots of new changes. Uh, just trying to get all this set up before I go and be comfortable with it because once I'm out on the trail, I can't do it. I'm not going to have time to do this kind of stuff, so... That's what I am. I'm a planner. I tend to be fairly organized. So, I, I don't know, setting up things and knowing what to expect and how things all work relieves a lot of anxiety for me. It always has. So that's what I'm doing. So, anyway, um, I don't want to be back. I've gotten questions. As it seems to be that people are confused on, they think I'm doing some kind of a survivalist expedition like I'm going into the woods for six months and gonna live off the land and eat fish and berries or something I don't know but that's not what it is uh, 
you know, basically, uh, you're doing a lot of short hikes from one point to the next. I probably won't carry more than five days worth of food at a time. Sometimes only two or three. Uh, there's a lot of roads that intersect with the PCT and trail towns that are hiker friendly. Um, so I'll be going into those towns to get more food, to take a shower, do laundry, uh, upload videos, call family and friends, that kind of stuff. So at times I'll stay in hotels when I go to town if I need to rest or just need a warm bed. Some towns they have hostels, so they're a little cheaper than a hotel. Um, so, yeah, that's more like what it's about. There's also what's called trail angels along the way. And they are people that provide a service to the hikers out of the goodness of their heart. Um, a really po cool part of this whole culture. Um, that either leave like water caches in the desert or places where there's no water um, or coolers full of food. Sometimes they have, you know, tables and stoves set up and cook a hot meal or pro provide a ride into town. Some of them even take you to your house and let you spend the night and, you know, take showers and do laundry. And uh, so, anyway, that's. A cool little benefit of this and then yeah I mean you can stop as much as you want to and go do this or you can go for longer periods of time without going into town you know obviously the more times you go into town and the more time you spend there the more expensive your trip's gonna be and the longer it's gonna take so I think there's a fine balance on how much you should do that. So let's see what else. Uh, you're going through lots of different kinds of terrain. Uh, the first 700 miles is desert. Uh, it's hot during the day, um, but it can be really cold at night. Uh, rattlesnakes. Scorpions, something called poodle bush, I guess is pretty poisonous, kind of like poison ivy. And uh, I guess the other dangers would be heat stroke, dehydration, that kind of thing. Uh, after that, you go into the Sierras. In the Sierras, you're going to go over 11 passes and fording rivers and <clears throat> you have to have some special gear like either micro spikes or uh, crampons those people bring micro spikes an ice axe and you have to carry a banner canister uh, so you are going to be going through some snow and fording some gnarly rivers. So that's the area I fear the most at this point.